This play right here? This play right here, nigga? This is a life alert situation, people. Yes, that just happened. I've fallen and I can't get up. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I have a highly anticipated my career video for y'all today, even more anticipated than my 100 plus point gameplay. This video right here is personal to me. I made a video when I rolled for Drew Holiday. I stepped in between Steph Curry, Andre Iguodala, and you know, I got suspended for a game that the ref ejected me and everything. So this video right here, this this is me redeeming myself. I'm ready to bungee cord snap on the Golden State Warriors. Y'all don't understand. Like when I got suspended, I was in the GM's office and he was just all up in my face. I was pissed. So now I get to take it out on a rightful team, the team that I should have blamed since the beginning. Now, uh, you know, as I get my little Jeremy Lin tactics going. I'm at small forward, which means I'm going up against Andre Iguodala. I know. It's okay. I don't have a problem with that. If I don't play point guard all day, if I don't get to go up against Steph Curry and cross him, that's cool because Drew Holiday gets the cookies and I get the nice slam. And, yo, if y'all didn't know, I upgraded my dunk package, which means I got that Kia slam cam now. Your boy is out here six foot one, rising on, fellas. You know what I'm saying? Acting a fool after the play. <laughs> but, you know, it's all good. Now, one thing that I can do the entire game is get on Steph Curry nerves with a whole bunch of screens. And did you check that back door cut? Like, I could have swore I was going to get the ball, but it's all good because now I get that one-on-one -on -one situation with Iguodala. And they try to double team. You look at him ganging up on your boy, but guess what? I let Drew Holiday answer them all with the three-point shot. He deserves that, man. He deserves those points. You know, after getting his behind bulldozed in that first game, he deserves it all. So... When it comes to defense up against this team, I will have to say, Andre Iguodala is not a slouch. He can hit three-point shots. He can dunk. He can lay up. He can go through contact. And um, we're down 10. Now, Monty Williams was not happy about that at all. He was pissed. So he told us to reduce the gap. So we had to get within five points. Now, me being who I am, I've been in the gym. I got my rating up. And Steph Curry, being the person that he is, hand down, man down. You're a three-point shooter. You need to know some things. Now, even though we reduced the gap, I'm still not happy with that. So we need to take the lead. And one thing I, I can say I'm happy about is that my team is starting to play defense. Check out Eric Gordon with the actual cookies. Like, I never see him get the steal, but did you peep that? I just sunned Andre Iguodala, and I made him go get the ball, and he had to sign it, no marker. You know what I'm saying? Anybody ever go down to the park, you know what I'm saying? You do something crazy on somebody, you tell them sign it. <laughs> That's how we playing out here, man. We playing park rules. But check this out, y'all. We got the lead. Your boy got 21, 5, and 5 now. I'm stat sheet stuffing for a 6-1 point guard. I'm actually doing better. I guess you could say that me playing a small forward position actually enables me to do a little bit more. I have a lot more leeway. Even though, you know, at the point guard position, you control the offense. You can call a few plays and set up, like, sets and everything. But at the small forward position, you are off ball most of the time. You get to run down court on the wing. And you get to do stuff like this. Check out the nice pass. Everybody thought I was about to lay it up on him until I kicked it out to the boy Smith. And he gets the layup and I get the assist. Now, it's 51-55. And I just want to say that Andre Iguodala, I really don't like you. You know what I'm saying? Now, I love you, but I really don't like you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we can't blame Andre Iguodala for this play right here because this was just, it was it was beautiful, man. Like, it, it really pissed me off. Like, look at that. He cut through. Did you peep what he did? Like, and I got all caught up in the sauce. Like, I didn't know what was going on. So, you know, we need a timeout. They're getting close, you know, a second quarter. And I don't want to go into halftime down. Like, that's the main thing. I don't want to go into halftime down. So, now, fast forward to the third quarter. We were actually up going into the half, but we were only up one point. And then the third quarter happened, and this stuff started happening. They start getting out on a fast break. 
I started looking sluggish. Timeouts started happening. The coach started slapping everybody as they walked over to the bench. Like, you ever get, like, young bored by, like, an uh, older person? Like, we were going to the bench. He was slapping people in the head. And I got a bald head. That type of stuff hurt. Like, that, I, I wasn't happy at all. <laughs> but I'm still shooting these threes, man. I told y'all. All I had to do was get the rating up. Steve Nash's jump shot in this game is pure. Like, I mean, pure. I got it on quick release, the same as the actual player. And, man, I can tell you this right now. I make just about everything. Just about everything is an excellent release for me. Sometimes the quality is a little off because sometimes I hold it a little bit too long or the situation might not be the right situation. But look at this. They not even guarding your boy. Like, and he ain't even want to kick it out. Like, come on. You got to do better. They don't even want to stick me. Everybody's rotating to the people in the paint, not realizing that IKC got his jump shot right. But, yo, I ain't even want to do a life alert right there because it wasn't a dunk. But these dudes is on a 9-0 run. What are we going to do? It seems like every time we take the lead, something bad happens. Every single time. And, you know, it's kind of pissing me off. But check out the nice cut. Yo, I should have dunked that, right? Right, I I, y'all think I should have dunked that, right? Uh, me too, me too. But um, I'm still trying to get this little goal flex your basketball IQ by taking good shots. So y'all already know what that means. As long as I got my three point rating up, I'm gonna be taking excellent shots, baby. And I knocked the three down. I closed the lead. Man, it's so hard to get this lead back. Like I'm putting up brick after brick, three after three, but. This right here saved our life. We got the steal, and your boy puts up a jump shot, but guess what? My foot was on the line. I was so hurt when I saw that. I was pissed. But check this out. Monty Williams, he told your boy, if you think you hot stuff, let me see you get 10 straight points. So you know what I do. I stand up at the top of the key. I call for the ball, and oh my God. Yeah, that's right. I drive to the lane. I don't even got a care in the world. And yes, I dunked on Spades, former Sixer. I'm sorry, but it had to happen, good brother. <laughs> now, check out this play right here, man. We're playing a little bit of inbound, and your boy gets injured. I don't know what happened right there. I'm, I'm grabbing my ankle. You know what I'm saying? And they just go out on a fast break. They don't even care about me. They don't even call a timeout. Monty don't even care. I'm getting that rookie treatment right now. And guess what? I can't even get that dynamic goal from Monty because of the injury. I was so mad. But, you know, even though I didn't get the dynamic goal, we were still down. We still needed points. And guess what? Steph Curry was sticking me. And guess what? I had to make up for that little run in a few weeks ago. So, yeah, you can say I dunked on Steph or you can say he let me pass him. But this play right here, this play right here, nigga, this is a life alert situation, people. Yes, that just happened. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I heard you guys love that little thing right there, man. So, you know, I had to add it in. But this right here is crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. Steph Curry misses a go ahead bucket with 40 seconds left on the clock. We coming down. You know what I'm saying putting on the moves. He I don't know why he's jumping. I'm taking layups. He's jumping at the foul line. He doesn't know what's going on. Look at the replay. What what was that? What was he blocking the air? He said, Oh my god, they let a fly in the arena. Let me swat it down. What's going on here, man? So Foy comes back down court, and I know for a fact that Eric Gordon was giving him points all night. But they give it to Steph Curry and check that out. Did y'all peep the movie? Hit me with him with a hesitation. Push off. Yeah, he pushed off. That was an offensive foul. Yeah, I called it. Um, <laughs> push off and got the layup to go. But now it's 15 seconds left. Your boy got the ball. He calling for the isolation. He giving a little bit of back down. Steph Curry is reaching. He don't know what to do. Your boy hits him with a few moves. Gets past him. Goes in for the hard layup. No foul and it's good. Let's go. 2.2 seconds left on the clock. And we got the go-ahead bucket. All we got to do now is play defense. Now... Y'all know that's one of my good strong suits, right? Like, I get the cookies. Sometimes I get blocks. 
but let's see how it unfolds here. This right here is where everything is on the line. So they pass it off to Steph Curry. He has to shoot. I block it, but he was still able to get the ball back and shoot another three-pointer. Thankful God that this boy missed that three-pointer. You don't understand. I would have rage quit it. I would have turned the PlayStation 4 off. I would have restarted the game. And I probably wouldn't even have got injured. What y'all think? Leave it inside the comment section. Yo, this game was definitely tight, man. But we're about to hop into the press conference. Be right back. Hey, you are a no-show for post-game treatments. Look like you rolled your ankle real bad back there, man. We should take a look and make sure it's nothing serious. Nah, I'm good, Bruce Banner. I'm cool, man. You can go ahead back into your little office. Your boy is feeling great. Did you see the game? Oh, nah, it's nothing. It's fine. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Well, I'd feel a lot better if we could do a quick exam. That was a nasty fall. Look, trust me, okay? There's nothing to be concerned about. I'll be fine come practice tomorrow. Okay, then, man. If you're sure it's nothing. But I'm going to keep a close eye on you, all right? If I notice even the slightest sign that something might be wrong, you're going in for a full exam. Yeah, whatever. It's cool. Okay, then. I'll see you at practice. I might see you. Oh, my God. Why is that dude hounding me? He wants me to go in for a full exam. He probably wants me to be out for a few weeks to a month. I'm good, fam. I got these records to go after. I'm cool. <laughs> you have to be elated after hitting that shot to win the game. Where does this rank on the list of your biggest moments on the basketball court? I think I jizzed in my pants, to be honest. I'll be honest, it was a huge moment. I'm used to having a ball in my hands with a game on the line, but it's not very often you get a chance to hit a game winner like that. I always expect the ball to go in, but you never know if you're gonna get fouled or double teamed or something. And this time it just worked out. I'd like to tell you I'm used to it at this point, but that doesn't make it any less sweet. Year, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.